So I'm out here in the new sugar bush. Um, it's getting a lot of my attention. It's definitely new and interesting. So I uh, like coming out here. Uh, Dad couldn't be here this morning to pump the sap out of the tank. So I'm doing it. But it's interesting what Dad has discovered this year. Um, we, I was convinced we were going to have to use a gas engine and pump it due to the height that we had to go. Um, we were actually looking at using a reverse slope releaser. Um, you know, I know people use sap ladders, but, um, I believe the pink lines there are 12 and 13 feet up in the air. Um, I think we get up as high as 18. Um, I could verify that with a tape measure and then put it down below in the notes for this video, but it's a one inch line and we had a one inch, you know, Honda, um, you know, gas powered pump we had planned on using. But uh, Dad has figured out that uh, uh, because this this uh, r little ravine we're in is actually higher than the ravine we're pumping to, that it creates a siphon. Uh, so once it's going, um, it just pulls it right down. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, kind of glad it stays peaceful out here so you don't have the gas engine running. I'm sure the neighbors appreciate that. Um, the only noise out here when the sap's running hard is going to be this... Uh, this releaser uh, clicking back and forth, but um, pretty cool. He's pretty confident. He's done this enough now. He didn't mess around. He just put a hose barb right in there and he's done. So good job, Dave, the, the old sugar maker.